So Steve, as LinkedIn's first HR officer, how can job seekers use LinkedIn during the, their job search, in your opinion? Well, the best time uh, and the best way to use LinkedIn is to not just use it when you're searching for a job. Um, most jobs that you're going to find in your life after your first one or two jobs is going to be through people you met in yes, those first jobs. Yes. And so the best way to really use it is to keep in touch with those people and see what they're doing and have conversations with them and grow the the value of that network and those relationships. That's the best way to use it, you know, um, to do that. I mean, if you're just, you know, searching, only going to LinkedIn when you look for a job, that I think that's the worst way to use uh, right. to, to use LinkedIn okay. is just to really the value is the relationships, right? That when we were building LinkedIn, this was one of the founding principles: relationships matter. Yeah. And of course, we want people to find jobs, but more so, we want people to build great relationships with people. Mm -hmm. That's how we did. We built relationship, and now I invited you over and to have this conversation. But still, some students or new immigrants. They're not comfortable. Like, how I'm going to do networking? How I'm going to approach someone? Do I don't know? What, is there a way, a technique? You know, usually I tell them find a common ground. Ask them about them. You know, I know that you're working in this company. I like to know more about you. It's all about them and building two-way communication. Okay. Is there anything okay. else in your opinion? Yes. The first thing I want to do is reframe and redefine networking. Networking is not talking to strangers. That's not networking. Yeah. Networking is helping people you know and asking people you know for help. Mm -hmm. I got my job at LinkedIn because I went to a kid's birthday party. My son was in daycare. One of his friends was having a birthday party. I was like, oh, no, I have to go to a whole weekend with kids screaming and eating sugar. This is going to be crazy. I met someone who was working at LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. A few months later, I'm working at LinkedIn from that birthday party. Did I go there thinking, oh, I need to network? No, no. I was just interested. Who are you? What do you do? Where, where do you work? Yeah. He said, oh, I'm working in this company. I said, oh, that sounds interesting. That was it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my life today, I have several teenagers and they play sports. And when I go, I sit next to other parents. Hey, how are you? What do you do? How are you? It's those events in our life, whether it's your church, your volunteer, someone yeah. you just met in the supermarket, wherever, just be curious. And I think that will benefit you. If you look at it like, oh, nobody likes the cocktail party with strangers. Nobody likes that. Yeah. That's not networking. And maybe you'll find someone from that. Mm -hmm. For me, our day-to-day -day life, unless you're living inside all the time, you're going to meet people mm -hmm. just through living. And that can lead to so many interesting things. I have, I'm, I'm on a board of directors of four companies right now. And one of them's in Vancouver. And the way I got that position was I was a hiring manager. I was interviewing somebody. We didn't hire the person. We rejected that person, but I was really impressed. They weren't right for that job. I kept in touch with them 15 years later, wow. 15. Wow. She said, you know, I'm at this company. Would you like to be on our board? That's from wow. meeting someone in an interview. Yeah. I rejected them. I was impressed. We could build a relationship and that's how it happens. So, you know, I think it just, just be comfortable to be yourself and mm -hmm. not try to force it. Yeah. And I think that's, that's a better advice, I think, on networking. And I recently read that curiosity will be one of the key skills needed in the future because they, uh, companies want people who are curious, figuring it out, problem solving. I think that's an important skill set to have. 100% agree. So I wrote a book last year uh, called Workquake. I'm going to show it here uh, for anyone who's who's watching. It's called Workquake. Yeah. And in that book, I dedicate a whole section to growth mindset and curiosity. Mm -hmm. And we, we've all heard this, right? Everyone from our parents and our teachers, oh, you need to be curious. Well, it turns out they're right. Yeah. And because the more curious you are, the more you want to learn, the more you want to learn, the more you will teach yourself yeah. something. And that being, you know, always curious, like my, it drives my kids crazy. When we ever travel somewhere new, I go, wow, look at that. Who's that? I'm always talking to people like, stop talking to people, mm -hmm. dad. I love it because it's yeah. just, I'm curious yeah. and I, I'm not studying to be curious. It's just how I was wired. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that if you're, if it's not your natural, you know, state, you probably are more curious than you think, but I 100% agree with you that that's a really important trait. Those are great tips. Thank you, Steve. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for other great questions with Steve.